Didn't know what time it was Then I met you Oh, what a lovely time it was How sublime it was too I didn't know what day it was You held my hand Warm like the month of May it was and I'll say it was grand Grand to be alive To be young To be mine To be yours alone Grand to see your face Feel your touch Hear your voice Say I'm all your own I didn't know the year Life was no prize I wanted love and there it was shining out of your eyes I'm wise and I know what time it is now I didn't know the time it was then I met you oh, what a lovely time it was how sublime it was too I didn't know the day you held my hand warm like the month of May it was and I'll say it was grand grand to be alive to be young to be mad to be yours Touch, hear your voice say, I'm on your own. I didn't know the year life was no prize. I wanted love, and here it was shining out of your eyes. I'm Cecile McLaurin Salvant. I am a jazz singer. I'm 26 years old. I'm American and French. When I was 17, I finished high school and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I moved uh, to France because I wanted to change countries. I didn't want to be in the United States anymore. And I studied political science and law in a prep school. At the same time, I did classical voice in the music school and I started singing jazz with a jazz teacher who was there. Uh, so it was a really, really heavy year, a lot of work to do. But eventually jazz became, jazz and classical voice, I should say, both of them became really important in my life. And uh, I started having more and more concerts in jazz. I had this great mentor who was my first and only jazz teacher, really whose name is Jean-Francois Bonnel, he's a saxophone player. And so he was really encouraging me and pushing me. And uh, it was a really, really great time to explore music and possibly a career. I still today want to do classical voice and I still go to teachers and I, that's, that's still a goal of mine, you know, even though it's, it's completely crazy but to one day be able to sing Baroque music. Um, law, for, I, I was studying law at the same time that I was doing jazz, and I actually ended up getting my bachelor's degree in law because I didn't want to really stop anything. So it took a while for me to really decide I'm only gonna do jazz, and actually even today, it's not really the case completely. I, I do sing jazz, but I also study classical voice, you know, when I have time, which I don't have a lot of time, but when I'm in, in New York, I try to go see teachers. I do a lot of painting. So I have 
a lot of different interests outside of jazz and 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 I want to keep it that way. I don't want to solely focus only on that. This is called Easy to Love. So easy to love, so easy to idolize all others above. So worth the yearning for, so swell to keep every home fire burning for. We'd be so grand at the game, so carefree together that it does seem a shame that you can't see your future with me because you'd be oh so easy to love. You'd be so easy to love, so easy to idolize all others above. So worth the yearning for, so swell to keep every home fire burning for. We'd be so grand at the game, so carefree together that it does seem a shame that you can't see your future with me because you'd be all so easy to love. really important to have a band that is a working band that you can develop a sound with and I'm very lucky to have a band that I've been playing with for about four years we know each other s super well we're good friends we're very very close and we kind of know exactly what you know, it's it's we can read each other's minds almost. And I think that's great and it makes for amazing music. But I also think that it's important to have kind of a, a shock to the system and change everything up because that's how you get new ideas. And I think new collaborations are really, really important. Tonight I'm singing with Rini Rosnes and Rodney Whitaker. And Rini Rosnes is a wonderful pianist. Rodney Whitaker is an incredible bass player. They're both masters, and uh, they're both people that I look up to, that the people in my band look up to. I mean, they, these are really incredible jazz musicians that have uh, 
definitely been on the scene for a long time and have played with some of the greatest, most legendary jazz musicians. I mean, they are incredible. And I feel really honored that they would have even accepted to play with me, to be quite honest. And so for me, it's even it's even more amazing because I feel like I'm, I'm challenged and I'm pushed by these incredible musicians who are wonderful teachers. And it's, to me, it's a teaching experience. And I think the music that will come from it will be new and different. And I think that's important. We can't keep doing the same thing over and over again because, I mean, then you're no longer creating, you're just stagnant. And I think it's important to keep moving forward as an artist. This next song is one that I wrote. It's about being in the friend zone. Do you all know what the friend zone is? Some of you do, some of you do not. Okay, so I will tell you. Um, the friend zone is when you are very good friends with someone and they consider you a friend, but you are also madly in love with them and it's not mutual. And it's hard to get out of the friend zone. It's very hard. Anyhow, I wrote a song as a sort of tribute to this zone, which I know I'm very familiar with it. <laughs> this is called Look At Me. <coughs> Why don't you look at me the way you look at all the other girls you see? I'm your friend, I guess I'll always be, but I'm in love with you. All of the time I've lost Trying to make you come to me At any cost All I was, all I'll ever be Is just a clown for you When you're blue I wish we'd spent together What a lovely time together Blue as that glimpse of light When I almost think you might Just look at me is spend my lonely life loving you. I consider myself a singer. That's my job, that's what I do every day. But actually I consider myself a listener first and somebody who appreciates art first uh, and you know, musician second. And I'm interested in a lot of different kinds of art and, and a lot of different facets of culture. I love to paint, I love to draw, I love to write, I love to compose, but mainly I love to just consume art every day and, and see what's going on and see what different artists are doing today and go to the museum and watch films and go online and look at illustrations. I feel like a spectator who also happens to perform. Mm -hmm. 